Welcome! We are conducting a highly requested science experiment today. Mountain Dew and live shrimp. So I heard Mountain Dew has some special chemicals in there that turn the shrimp green and make it very attractive to fish. Now we're going to be adding Mountain Dew and fresh shrimp together, letting it sit overnight and seeing if it makes the ultimate surf fishing bait. Let's get started. So for this experiment, I'm going to peel all these fresh shrimp and not only that, I'm going to mix it together with fresh Mountain Dew. Nothing like Mountain Dew and shrimp together to make the perfect bait. So now, once I peel all of the shrimp, and it takes a second to peel, I'll put them all together into this beaker. Then, I'll start opening the Mountain Dew and pouring it in there and mixing it around with my big wooden stick. This should start the chemical reaction right away. And this chemical reaction should look fizzy and start turning the shrimps green. This green color I think is going to attract all sorts of different fish on the beach. I'm going to enhance it with a little bit of food dye. The chemicals inside Mountain Dew should make a change in the consistency of the shrimp flesh. It should be firmer, harder, and tougher. And the scent of it might even attract more fish. Alright, so our experiment is going. Let's see how this works on the beach tomorrow. Time. Let's take a look at the Mountain Dew shrimp that we made last night. Ready? Oh, that is so green. It looks like Shrek and smells like Mountain Dew. The best of both worlds. Let's actually take the liquid out and put all the shrimp into a container. So we've got our bait box here. Oh, look at that liquid coming out. You see that? It's so green. That is dynamite Shrek shrimp right there. For those of you who don't know, Shrek is everything. Shrek is love. Shrek is fishing. Shrek is catching lots of fish. Those shrimps look so green, oh my God. That is crazy. Look at that. Let's see what they feel like. Ooh, it's kind of firm. It's not as firm as I thought it would be. They're very green throughout. Like you can see throughout the whole thing, it is completely dyed. Wow, Mountain Dew shrimp. Okay, I've got two fishing rods that I'm gonna be using. One of them, I'll be using the Mountain Dew shrimp. Other one, I'll be using the classic salted preserved shrimpy bits. So here's the difference. One is preserved with Mountain Dew. The other is preserved with our proprietary salt blend right here. We make hand make these salted baits. I know that for a fact these are gonna work. I have no idea if the Shrek shrimp are gonna work. So we're gonna have to test them out and see which one's gonna work better. There's a little bit of theory behind this. Fish like to see a little bit of color because it attracts them to, to bite. It might be the same shade or color as some kind of clams out there, clam shells, maybe mussels. With this salted bait, it's really tough. I like using this salted bait because I can put one piece on and I know that it'll be on for a good while. This feels pretty soft. And like I said, it breaks apart really easily. It just comes right off. All right, so I have all my pre-tied rigs here already. And I keep it inside my little rig box right here. So that if anything happens to these rigs, if it gets bitten off by a sharp tooth fish, like a bluefish, I can just change it out real quick. And when I hook a shrimp, I don't just do it in one hook. I like to hook it in and out as much as I can so that it stays on the hook. Oh, see, it came off so quick. This feels softer than a normal shrimp, even. 
This shrimp looks wild. Holy cow. Look at that. <laughs> this is crazy. It feels kind of like jello. It's really gelatinous. Whoa. These are super green. And this next rod right here, we're going to use some of our shrimpy bits. These shrimpy bits are also fresh shrimp, but they're completely preserved, so I don't have to refrigerate them. Just like that. It looks like you might still have some shrimp on your hand. There you go. This rod's the shorter rod. That rod's gonna go closer in. This rod's the longer rod. That rod's gonna cast as far as I can, hopefully past the second sandbar. We do this because we don't know where the fish are necessarily. We want to find them. And it's like a game of hide and seek. You have to check different hiding spots to see if they're there or not. If I'm starting to get bites close in, I'm going to bring that long rod close in. If I start getting bites far out, I'm going to start casting this shorter rod farther out. So I'm excited to try this experiment. It's a really weird one. I got to give it to you guys. You guys always give me really weird ideas, but I love it. That's part of the fun fishing for me, is I get to come out here and try different weird things. the Mountain Dew one. Oh, I think it got off. It must have been something small. Ooh. I just casted that out and everything got taken right away. The Mountain Dew strip, I think, is really soft. So you really have to pay attention to your line. find a deep spot is you got to look at the waves. If the waves start to break and you see the foam, that's where there's a sandbar. When it starts to crest back over and there's no more foam, that's where a deep hole is. That's where I like to cast my bait because usually fish are hiding in those deep holes. Yeah. Yeah. bluefish. Bluefish make great bait for other fish. Other big bluefish, other sharks, other things like to eat this. I'm gonna keep it alive for a second, set up my big rod, and then we'll cast it out using that. And we're gonna use our mega sized rod right here. myself because that Mountain Dew shrimp worked and I pretty much caught fish right away. The regular, the salted shrimp caught me bluefish. This Mountain Dew shrimp caught me a nice whiting. This is going to be delicious for dinner tonight. So I want to drop this bait out way out there. But first, I want to see how deep it is out there. Luckily, our friends at Deeper Sonar Fish Finder have sent us a brand new trophy bundle. This comes with a deeper chirp too. This thing is a really awesome piece of technology. I've been working with them for over four years so far. And I work with them extensively because their technology is better than anything else I've ever seen. So this bundle is really cool because it comes with our favorite power lantern. 
I have about four of these power lanterns. I use this every time I go camping and fishing at nighttime. It's magnetic and it also charges my phones at the same time. First off, the packaging itself is amazing. It comes with a phone holder. This will hold my phone on my rod while I check my sonar. It's crazy because this is one of my favorite lanterns on the market right now. And Deeper usually makes sonars, but their lantern is actually really, really awesome too. It's not only a lantern, it's a power bank too that I can plug in my iPhone cables, I can charge things. Also has a couple of magnetic things so I can attach it to my trailer, attach it to my truck. I would honestly keep buying just the lanterns if I had the choice. Now this little sonar piece of technology, I'm gonna be giving away soon to one of you fans because we have so many fans out there giving us so much support. I really, really believe in giving back and this is the perfect thing to give back with. A deeper sonar, this is called the Chirp 2 very very intelligent it has an awesome awesome piece of technology within here that can tell me the water depth what's under there what the temperature is just really intelligent i'm actually going to see how deep this ocean actually is i'm going to make sure to tie this nice and tight this device is 400 dollars. i don't want to lose this thing first i have to just connect it and i use my fish deeper app here so now I'm going to attach this to my drone. Wow, okay, so I'm, I'm seeing right now that the, the water out there is about seven to eight feet. I thought it'd be way deeper than that. Maybe it's over top of a sandbar. I am marking a hole out there somewhere, so I'm gonna try and cast my rods in that direction. Let's try this out. Maybe I should use a smaller hook. They're so soft. It did not make it firmer. I thought it would, but it didn't. Ooh, it's still alive. It's still kicking. All right, here's where we'll put it. Right on the upper lip. Oh, another bluefish. Another good piece of bait right here. On the salted shrimp. It ended up taking the salted shrimp too. That's all right.
a fish. This is the Mountain Dew one. You gotta do the dew. What is it? What is it? It's a small bonnet head shark, aka a shovel head shark. Interesting catch. Can't do anything with it, so I'm letting it go. One thing that I found out about this shrimp, this Mountain Dew shrimp in particular, is it gets a lot of bites but it's so soft that it keeps getting bitten off really quickly. When I did it with Pepsi, it made it a little bit firmer, which goes to show maybe Pepsi might be a better alternative than actually Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew gives it a cool color. It smells like citrus. I don't know if fish like that or not, but they seem to be biting it like crazy. Something is swimming towards me right now. And this is the live bluefish. So it's gotta be something big. Still slack, meaning it's swimming towards me. Aaron's turn. You're rocking it. Another bluefish using the Mountain Dew shrimp. that using the Mountain Dew shrimp. We caught a bluefish. We put the live bluefish out there and got that enormous shark. And that, my folks, 
That, folks, is why I love fishing. It's just so random. You don't know what you're gonna catch. That could have been a huge something else, but it was a huge predator fish. Top of the food chain. Nothing better than that. My adrenaline's pumping, and that's why I like getting out here to go fishing. <laughs> so the Mountain Dew shrimp, it actually worked pretty well. I got a lot of bites, but I also missed a lot of fish. In my opinion, it works well to get bites, but maybe it's not sperm enough to actually catch enough fish. I prefer to use my salted baits. But if you don't have the salted baits and you want to get more fish, changing the color and the, the smell of your shrimp might end up catching you more fish. This is our fisherman's bundle right here. This is the weekend fisherman bundle that has all the rigs that we tie in one box. And it's a variety. So you can use the sabiki, the bottom high-low rig, and an inline fish finder rig all in one kit. We have hand tied all these rigs personally so you guys can get on fish. Now I use these every single time I go out fishing. And today I used it with the Mountain Dew shrimp and caught a bunch of fish. It was a very fulfilling day. I caught enough fish to actually bring home to eat and I caught a big fish just for fun, you know? I hate going out here and not catching fish. It's really important for me to actually have a good chance of catching fish. And to do so, I say get some of my rigs. I wanna thank everyone for your support. You guys watching us is so important to us. And I wanna thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. It means a lot to me. I'm able to come out here, fish all the time, and share with you guys my experiences. If you enjoy this episode, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment something that you, you wanna say to us. We answer almost every single comment we can. And uh, I'll see you guys next Thursday because we put out a video every single Thursday at 7.30 p.m. All right, see you guys next week. Peace.